Hey everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to go over one of the most popular degrees at WGU, the WGU Cybersecurity Degree. Uh, this is by far one of the most popular degrees there, especially with people that want to accelerate, especially with people that follow me. Um, for people that follow me, I, I think probably the two biggest degrees for my followers are the Computer Science Degree at WGU, and the second probably is the Cybersecurity Degree. So overall, um, for my audience, for people that watch me, those are like two of the biggest ones probably. And I want to go over today what jobs you can get with a cybersecurity degree. Uh, and I'll probably ma eventually make a video for the computer science degree and what jobs you can get with that one as well. Although that one's a little, uh, it, it's really one main job, which is software engineer. Although you can do a lot of other jobs too, but like that's I feel like 75% of people do go into software engineering with a computer science degree, especially if it's just a bachelor's. For the other careers in computer science, usually it would need like a master's. However, this video is today about cybersecurity, so I'm going to stick to that and not go too off topic here. So I'm going to give you five jobs that you can get with a cybersecurity degree. Now, cybersecurity is not usually an entry-level degree. It's not usually like a, a, there's no entry-level jobs for cybersecurity. So you might have to do something in IT first. Uh, and whatever you do in IT um, will eventually lead to cybersecurity. You just have to build up your network, uh, make a lot of friends. Um, I've always told you guys cybersecurity is a very connection-heavy industry. It's like the finance degree in the business world. You know, it, Getting the degree by itself is not enough. Um, you need experience and you need connections. So, And especially without experience, connections are really important. So I'm going to give you one honorable mention and then I'll give you my top five. Uh, jobs you can get with this degree. So let's get into it right now. Also, if you want to hack the high, uh, cybersecurity degree, if you want to get that degree in one year, you could go to my website, majormash.com, and I show you how to do that. Uh, basically, you'll transfer in a bunch of credits with like uh, study.com. On study.com, you could do courses in like two, three days each. You can also do them on Sophia and other platforms as well. Just download my spreadsheets at majormash.com, or you can download my iOS, iOS app, UniBoost, and click the WG Cybersecurity, and then click Populate Ace Credits. Hopefully, I'll have an Android version at some point. Um, that is the plan. So overall, let's get into the video. We're going to start off with the honorable mention. So an honorable mention here is Cloud Engineer. Uh, I see a lot of people become a cloud engineer with you know cybersecurity degrees. Um, now, if you are a, if you are going to get into cloud engineering, it would still be helpful to have two degrees. Having one cybersecurity degree is fine, whether it's your bachelor's or your master's, but the other degree should be computer science or it should be, uh, information technology. So I think that would be a good blend. Um, but even if you had just one cybersecurity bachelor's and no master's degree, it's still really possible to become a cloud engineer. If you add all the cloud certs, there's a lot of crossover between cybersecurity and cloud engineering. The thing is, once again, this is not an entry level job. Now you could apply for like cloud support engineer jobs. Um, that might be a little more entry level, but still not exactly entry level. Um, so cloud engineer, a lot of cybersecurity degrees, cybersecurity degree holders do become cloud engineers. And it's a great job. Cloud engineering pays at least you know, most of them pay at least like 120 a year, and some of them can get very near 200k a year. So, very good job. Uh, I would just, uh, if you are, if you do want to be a cloud engineer, maybe the cloud and network degree is a little better. But overall, if you already have the cybersecurity degree, this is still a good option, and it's still very possible. So, cloud engineer, honorable mention. And the reason it's honorable mention is the other five jobs are a little more common with a cybersecurity degree. But if, if we were ranking this by salary, um, cloud would probably be like one, two, or three and not an honorable mention. But um, the other five are more common for a cybersecurity degree. So number five is identity access management analyst. So what does this do for a company? It manages all the company's user accounts, uh, who has access, uh, permissions, um, you know, just monitor, monitoring that, uh, monitoring some like traffic flow, um, just basically making sure like access is airtight and, you know, having the uh, security flow over that. So overall permissions, um, managing all the user accounts, uh, and just overall, it sounds like a good job in my opinion and, you know, not too complicated. Uh, so basically you'll be protecting all the user account data, all the user accounts, um, 
managing exactly what groups have what permissions, uh, constantly updating that and just overall, this is a big part of cybersecurity and it's also like a big part of cloud as well. Um, like I said, I told you guys, cybersecurity and cloud actually have like a lot of crossover these days. Uh, honestly, like, you know how they, they combined the cloud and network degrees recently? You could kind of combine the cloud network and cyber degrees if you really wanted to, you know, and just make them all kind of like interconnected, right? And then the information technology degree would be based off more very broad things overall. So, uh, but cybersecurity, um, very, very good degree. And this is one of the jobs you can get. It's, it comes with a pretty good salary. Uh, once again, this is probably a six figure salary as well. And this job is probably not too stressful. You know, it's not too stressful, not too overly complicated. Um, so I am analyst identity access management, one of the most common jobs with a cybersecurity degree. So number four is a security engineer, and there's several different types of security engineer, but sometimes jobs just call it security engineer. And this one's definitely not an entry level job. Um, you'll see most security engineers require at least like five years experience, some even 10 years, but there is a possibility if you have strong connections, you, you even with one to two years experience, you could land one of these jobs, right? Like I said, connections are very important. Um, and then your certs might help as well. Like if you have a really, really strong, um, resume with tons of certs, let, let, let's say you have like 10 plus cyber certs, or you have like the CI SSP or, or something along those lines, then you might be able to get this with just like a couple years experience, depending on like how small or big the company is as well. So what does a security engineer do? Basically you maintain the security infrastructure. Uh, you build firewalls, you manage firewalls, um, you build and manage the intrusion detection systems. Uh, and like you might not build these from scratch, but you'll certainly manage them and modify them. Um, you'll do encryption protocols and endpoint protection as well. So a lot of stuff to do as a security engineer. And this is like the really nitty gritty of really protecting the system here. Like, you know, if something goes wrong, you know, you, you could be one of the main, uh, the main blame points if some hacker gets into the system or something like that. You know, it is basically your job to, you know, keep the infrastructure really secure, you know, which is kind of a stressful job to be honest with you, right? You know, a worse fear you get hacked, which does happen to companies. You know, it doesn't happen to every company, but it does happen to a decent amount of companies. And then, uh, you know, the, the security engineer is going to feel like they were defeated and they're responsible. And then they're going to stress if they're going to get fired and probably all these things, right? I mean, likely their job would be safe. Um, but overall, um, security engineer pays really well. Like, uh, anywhere from 130 to 220 probably. It just depends on the experience. I see most of the job listings probably in the high 100 range, like between 170 to 200. So overall, just depends on the company. Good salary, good career, probably pretty stressful, um, probably a lot of hours. But overall, great job, um, just not entry level. Number three is incident response analyst. And so a, a lot of companies don't actually have this job, but a lot of the bigger companies do, especially like high end cybersecurity firms and big companies, etc. So what does an incident response analyst do? Basically, if somebody does intrude the system, you're the one who basically uh, analyzes that situation. So you'll investigate how the attackers got in and you'll just probably spend a long time on that investigation. You're going to contain the damage you're going to preserve evidence for forensics and help the organization recover. So basically you're not responsible for them hacking in. You're not responsible for that. Your, your job is to find out how they did it and then to basically go over with the, what the rest of the team, like security engineers, how you can patch that and fix that permanently. And overall, um, just kind of trace everything, preserve everything, um, it sounds like a pretty good job if you're into like forensics slash figuring out how somebody did something after the fact and kind of piece it back together. Like you're kind of like reverse engineering the intrusion a little bit. Um, not exactly, but somewhat. Uh, sounds like a fun job. Um, probably also a little stressful. You know, a lot of cyber jobs can be stressful because they do require like bad actors and bad actors trying to get into the system and things like that. So it can be kind of a high, one of the highest stressful jobs in tech, honestly, because, um, you know, you're, you're trying to defend something, you're trying to protect something. It's not like software engineering where you're just building something and, you know, 
something bad never really happens except for like you're debugging something that drives you crazy. Um, you know, like something just won't compile, right? Cybersecurity, you're actually dealing with, you know, bad people, bad actors, etc. So overall, number three is incident response analyst. So number two is one of the coolest jobs, especially if you like going on the offensive. Uh, some people in cyber before they pre uh, prefer the defensive um, type of jobs or they prefer like the offensive type of jobs. Um, if it was me, I think I would prefer more of the like a middle ground, um, you know, maybe a combo of both. But overall, like the the offensive jobs like penetration tester, uh, basically you're paid to like kind of hack into systems. Uh, perhaps not like real systems. I mean, I've never worked as a penetration tester, but like I would assume these are like simulated systems uh, where they will, you know, build up their own system and then like you will try to hack into that. And if you actually successfully hack into it, then they can patch their own system to prevent that same hack, if that makes any sense to you. So penetration tester, ba basically like uh, th there's a lot of good certs for this. Uh, GIAC has some really good certs for penetration tester. There's also like one of the most famous ones, like an entry level CompTIA pen test plus cert. And there's other pen test certs as well. Like I said, this is one of the most common fields in cybersecurity. It's one of the most common careers in cybersecurity. Um, like I said, there, there's many different aspects of cybersecurity. There's, there's so many different kinds of cybersecurity jobs. And that's what makes cybersecurity so interesting is there's so many different like career paths. It's not just like one career. It's not like just one job. There's so many subsets, you know, so many subsets. And that's why I would specialize in just like, you want broad knowledge of all of them, obviously, but I would specialize in just like a couple of them. You know, so if pen testing is what you want to do, then I really, really study that as much as you can and overall get as much knowledge as you can. Now, pen testing, once again, is not really an entry level job either, although this is more entry level than some of the other ones, but still probably need a few years experience without strong connections. Um, but, you know, with a few years experience, you can definitely land this one and it does pay the same as all the other ones, anywhere from like 130 to like. 270 depending on what company it is pretty broad range there but you know that's it is what it is um, so penetration tester some people will find this one of the most stressful or some people might find this one of the most fun i think when it comes to cybersecurity, you have to find which subset fits your personality because you don't want to be stressed like 24 7 on your job so i would find which field actually like it it uh it goes with your personality like, so just go through all the subset careers in cybersecurity and decide, oh, that one would be really fun and would not stress me out every day. So that's kind of what I would do if you want to get into cyber. So number two is penetration tester. So number one is security analyst. Now, this one is number one because it's probably the most common job. Um, the salaries might be a little less than the other jobs on this list. It just depends. Some security analysts can get paid a lot. So this is also known as SOC analyst and cyber security analyst. So you can find this job listed as all three, depending on the company, security analyst, cyber security analyst, SOC analyst, and it might even be called other things as well. So every job calls it something different. Um, it's all kind of the same job. Basically, what do you do as a security analyst? Uh, you monitor the system. You're constantly looking for intrusions. It's a lot of monitoring. Um, and then you also do come up with methods as well, uh, like plans of action uh, for defense and um, like what would you do in this situation, et cetera. Overall, security analyst, you might do a lot of like from the other thing on this list from five to two, especially four to two, you might be doing a mixture of all of those two because a lot of companies don't have like all those jobs. So as a security analyst, you might be doing like a little bit of everything. But for like medium to big companies, usually this is just like a lot of monitoring um, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, reports and meetings and, um, you know, like, like I said, writing reports and doing things like that. I think this would probably be like the least stressful of the top five or no, at, at the least stressful of the top four. Right. I, I would I would imagine out of the top four on this list this is probably the least stressful one. Uh, this one comes with a salary anywhere between 80,000 to like. 200,000 probably. It just depends how much experience you have and what company you're working for. Um, overall, it's a great career and great job. And this one is probably the most entry level friendly. Now you're still not going to get an entry level security analyst job without like, 
some kind of strong connection or a really strong resume. I have seen people get a security analyst job right out the gate if they have a bachelor's in cybersecurity or preferably like a computer science or cybersecurity bachelor's and then like a cybersecurity master's and then have like a really good certs too, like quite a, quite a few good certs. But you can get this job with just a security plus cert and like maybe a couple other certs, like a SISA plus cert, uh, strong connections, a good resume. And like I said, at least the bachelor degree in cybersecurity or like a bachelor's in any tech degree and a master's in cybersecurity or a bachelor's in any tech field, any uh, a bachelor's in cybersecurity and then a master's in any tech field like computer science. So it just um, your, your bachelor's and master's does not have to both be cybersecurity. I would actually recommend against that, right? If you have a bachelor's in cyber, I'd probably go a master's in something else. If you have a bachelor's in, um, if you have a bachelor's in something else tech-wise, I'd probably get a master's in cybersecurity, uh, etc. So, but it, it doesn't matter. That's just my opinion. That's subjective. Um, might not matter at all. So, overall, security analyst very common job, and you this is the one where you can get entry level, but it's still hard. It's it's quite hard. You really need to network, and you really need to put a strong resume together. I would suggest finding uh, like an internship. Um, you you can still get a cybersecurity internship, especially with this degree and some certs, um, and you can find a security analyst job. So it's just a little hard. It's it's harder than it was a couple of years ago, but it's still very possible. And that will be the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, a little different than what I usually make. You guys wanted to know what jobs you can get with every single degree, and I'm I'm trying to maybe make a few videos on that, like maybe cybersecurity, computer science, um, and then maybe one of the business degrees and um, things like that. So I'm trying to make these videos for you guys so you can understand what careers you can get and what jobs to actually like type in and search for. Uh, and so you can like specialize your skill set for that job you're looking for as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the video today, can you please like, subscribe, and comment? When you do one of those three things, especially commenting, it sends the video into the algorithm. YouTube is happy. YouTube sends my video to people that have never seen it before. Uh, my audience grows more people enroll, change their life, etc. I've had a lot of people tell me that like my videos changed their life and they got a degree, etc. And that means the world to me. So if you guys can, you know, do one of those three things, especially commenting, uh, it helps ensure more people, more new people see it because of the algorithm. So, and then a like just takes like one or two seconds as well. But a comment is like the most important. And then if you do plan to keep watching my content, then obviously subscribing would mean a lot to me. Um, now, if you're obviously going to subscribe and then never watch a video again, then then I would suggest not doing that. But if you're going to watch any of my videos further, subscribing would mean a lot also. Uh, this is Alex. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll have more content coming soon. WGU. I have a video about the top college majors coming out, like a whole big tier list. And that's not WGU specifically. It'll be like um, just a general college major uh, video. So I have a lot of good videos coming this month. Um, a lot of good videos scheduled. So this is Alex. Take care, guys.